Island Soap Company at Pet Lockery, here with Karen. While Karen is perusing their wares, I'll give you a little tour of my own. All sorts of scented soaps and other goodies. Now we're here in Grand Tolly, also I think sometimes called Grantly, the Highland Chocolatier, Ian Burnett's The Highland Chocolatier. It's a terrible day though. Let's go outside, go get a hot cup of coffee or some tea. That's what it looks like. It's a nice little garden out front, or actually along the side. It's a fairy. The Ian Burnett Highland Chocolatier. We're warmly welcome to the home of the international award winning Velvet Truffle. Ooh. Here's some of the awards in recognition. Making some kind of chocolate treat there. Oh wow, look at this huge chocolate egg. Chocolate shop left. Let's go see. Fancy candy bars. Let's go look inside the cafe. Some soups, coffee, hot chocolates, and they even have afternoon tea. We just enjoyed a nice hot coffee in this warm and quaint little cafe on a cold and rainy afternoon. Very nice indeed. <laughs> Glasgow and London. This is the A24 press. Okay, we're in the north side of Loch Tay. Scottish Trenog, which we've been to before. It's always worth a visit. There's the Trenog way over there. It's a reproduction of an ancient home. Very cool to go inside of it. We're not going to do it today though. Let's take a look at the lock. The mist hanging up there in the top parts of the hills. There's the crown. And it's going to go in to look at the jewelry and other things they always have for sale here. I hope you enjoyed this Scottish day out. Remember, life's a journey. Enjoy the ride, and as always, thanks for watching.